The most defining netball moment that I've had so far is the moment that I hopped on the plane to Queensland. Uh, it was a one-way flight uh, and it was one of the biggest decisions I'd made in my netball career to date. It was tough and I think a lot of elite players will say they've had their time sitting on the bench. I'd spent two years at Vixens and in my last year at Vixens I'd played five quarters in a whole season, which isn't a lot. I was so grateful for the opportunity to be at Vixens, but I really wanted to push my netball and see what I could do. There were times that I thought, hey, this might be it for me. I might just be this sort of bench player that comes on and maybe makes an impact for five minutes. But part of me knew that I had a little bit more to give. I didn't get my start until I was about 23. So yeah, it was gonna be in interesting for all of us. Mum is massive with pros and cons lists. So we sat down and did one as a whole family. And honestly, the pros outweighed the cons. It was about 10 to one and I didn't know how it was gonna go. I think it could have gone one of two ways, <laughs> um, but I'm glad it went the way it did. I don't think I would be where I am now without those two years on the Sunshine Coast, not only as a player, but as a person. I grew so much and I think anyone who knew me before I went there would say the same thing. It showed me what I could do on the netball court and that I've, I've still got so much to learn and give and grow into. And I've got that mindset of I'm really hungry and I want to give it as much as I can and, and see what I can do in this Diamonds uniform. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity. I love being Diamond 175.